Hey there, Hyrulians, it's me, your boy. And we're going to be playing that super popular Zelda game that just came out this year. Everybody's playing it. It's Legend Zelda the Diminished Cap. Yep. <clears throat> How y'all doing? So... I don't know if I can make it bigger. <clears throat> Hold on a second. We're gonna do that. Sorry, gang, I gotta. I have to play the settings really quick. <clears throat> How's that look? I dig it. I want it to fill up the screen as much as possible, I think. Let me do one last thing. Sorry. You'd think I would have had this done beforehand. Oh no, that that's the business right there. <clears throat> I think Capcom goes or, or not Capcom, Nintendo goes a little heavy on the pixel filter. I would love for it to look like what they did, what Sony did with Legend of Dragon. Oh, <clears throat> a long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate so stuff in my throat. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. Just Zelda casually walking out normally? Okay. Normally, you have to go find her. That was also not where I was expecting her to come in from. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Yeti? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Yeti was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Yeti, time to get up! Yeti, time to get up! Uh, Madge. Okay, so... It does correspond pretty well to the controller. I've only played a handful of Game Boy Advance games in my life, y'all. Oh, that's why. Hey, Yeti. 
Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you'd join her at the festival. Yeah, Yeti, come on. Let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making the sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. <clears throat> Ooh, that sounded rough. We accepted the smith sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the Princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Yeti. Let's go check out the festival. <clears throat> Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her, don't let anything bad happen to her. Can we wage the war against Pot? Yeah, buddy. Aww. I'm sorry, Kay, but it's good to see you, friend. I hope you're doing well. I hope raid goes well. You got one rupee. It's green. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, I love to hear it. So, the grab is weird. Like, generally, I would think the whole day. Oh no, if I would look at the fucking... <laughs> if I would look in the corner, it would tell me what... Ooh. <clears throat> Y'all, I just woke up from a nap. Yeti, over here! Okay, so the R button's gonna be used a lot. I can already tell that, because I'm gonna be rolling around like a ding-dong. Yeah. Yeti, hurry, let's go! Zelda seems very animated in this one. I'm here for it. Over here, come on, hurry up! So, <clears throat> this is very much a Capcom game <laughs> in that they developed it. Okay, so we are heading to Hyrule Town, but there's also Caster Wilds and Minish Woods. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. Here we are, Yeti. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Yo, she just bolts off? Yeti, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. Uh... <laughs> Zelda? So, the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that! Zelda? Say, was there gonna be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh wow, over here! Bro, she's all over the place. Hey, it's a uh, Beetle from Wind Waker. It's probably not exactly Beetle, but it's close enough. We have a winner! Oh my! Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing? Wow! You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next we have this magnificent gem. And finally there's this teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? 
Oh, but this heartstone is very cute, too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable. I think I'll take it. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heartstone? It's cute. Or, or it's this giant gem. It's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope. I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't the shield suit you perfectly, Yeti? I'm teeny tiny and ugly, apparently. <laughs> princess Zelda gave you a small shield. <clears throat> It is a little embarrassing, though. It's so tiny. Uh, bro. Context. Phrasing. Yep, just as I thought. You look great! Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Yeti. Okay, so... That's our shield button, I guess, going forward. I wonder if this is like, um... Yeah, okay, so we can set either one. It's kind of like Link's Awakening and stuff in that regard. Come on, Yeti. Let's hurry to the castle. So Hyrule really is kind of the hub in this one. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passerby. Yeti, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. <laughs> I'm getting all sorts of out of context screen caps. <laughs> Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that nut hurt. Oh well, he won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. I'm telling y'all. Like, maybe I'm, I'm just a twisted, unredeemable soul. But this is, so far has been phrasing in any window of the game. Oh, Yeti! You brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the Kingdom of Hyrule, I, Patho, accept this blade. He came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Yeti, but I better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you're here, Yeti, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Do you know about that sword, Yeti? It's called the Picori Blade, and it looks it locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. Legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Oh yeah, they definitely were like, you know what, Wind Waker designs. Let's go. So that's absolutely the King of Hyrule design. Let the award ceremony commence! Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> to think things would go this well. The Picori Blade and the Bound Chest spoke in the Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I relieve you of its contents now. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Are you why are you doing this the princess with the mystic aura the power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its world family interesting if I leave you now you'll only cause me trouble later that will never do to stone with you <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now, to find what power awaits me in this chest. Mm. Empty. There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters? What is the meaning of this? I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty, the King. Oh, Yeti, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand to my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Picori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Picori? The Picori? Not much. You know what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. But what? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Picori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then... Why not send Yeti? If Yeti has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Picori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you. Along with the broken Picori blade. We got the broken Picori blade. It's part of the sword need to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. 
We got the smith sword. It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once, humans and Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck, and be careful. Now you'll never get lost. Okay, so this is not a very big game. Got it. I am counting on you, Yeti. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. Okay, so off-screen stuff is totally okay in this game. That's gonna be a bit of an adjustment. Also, we can cut these sticks. Taking care of most of the monsters out here. Be careful around Minish Woods, though. The woods are thick with them. Oh, hey, it's the carpenter dudes from Ocarina of Time. The name's Mudo. I'm Ed Carpenter around these parts. The King of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. See, that sorcerer's attack tore things up pretty bad around here. You know, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. So if we do start, and then R. Okay, so we need to keep heading south, and then eventually east. Oh, the world map. That's neat that you can, like, get a really good look at everything. I actually really like that. That's good. I'm good. Okay, can't swim. Noted. Okay, so we're still- oh wow! That is a definitely a new enemy type. And they're probably exclusive to uh, Minish Cat. Now, I'm going to tell you all that apparently this is going to be one of the hardest games to get every heart container in. And I am going to have to do some offline grinding for it because it's a gotcha game. And there's apparently these like seashell things. I'm not even gonna spin them until I understand them. That I've done just, it was coincidental research, funny enough, but research nonetheless. Uh,
feels weird to be playing in, in two dimensions again. Like, not bad, just weird, because I've, I've been playing in 3D for a while now. And they really like blocking paths, don't they? What's this house? Okay, so there's nobody here. It's kind of a remix on it, though, here for it. This, I'm gonna guess, is a bomb ball. Though it stands out a lot more than normal bomb walls. Wait, really? Oh, this is like a weird, uh... Okay, well, we're not going south anyways. We're going east now. If we can. They definitely were like, okay, well, since Capcom's gonna develop this, we're gonna let Capcom do some new things. There's definitely, like, new environmental factors to consider. I'm here for it, though. It does mean a lot of learning. Oh, it's the, uh, choo-choo. I think it's a choo-choo. Now I'm second guessing myself. They were in Wind Waker. I can tell they looked a lot at Wind Waker when they were developing this. Somebody stop them? Oh, ow! Help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Oh. Maybe we saw where that was. Hey, kid! You there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Oh, well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle it myself, but that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh, I see. The Picori, you say. And Vati? Vati's cursed someone. What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too. I'm on a quest to break a curse of Vatas. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, huh? Well, then you found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo, 
It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What? Is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ugh! This is one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. There. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now. I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press that button. I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless job. Well, now we look the part. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh, who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow... Deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No. That stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. <sighs> you stand on it to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to it. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. I like how he like jumps on your head while you're doing that. Oh, we are small. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around, in different shapes and sizes. You want to return to normal, stand next to a portal. But there's one thing you must know. Being minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me, too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Wow, it just looks like he has, like, giant shoes on. Okay, that's neat. That's really neat. Like, this isn't the first time I've, like, been miniature in a game. Uh, one recent example was Final Fantasy III was really gimmicky like that. I mean, like, the the actual three, not, not what we got as three. But it had a couple of places that you had to go into under mini status. You'd stay mini the whole time. That was annoying. Hmm, it appears we've found the Minish Village. Pico Picori! Rippy Rippico Picori! Picoco Pico Rippico! 
I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now. Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. <laughs> Don't fault me, I just woke up from a nap. We should look around. Pico Riki Poco Tipo. Pico Riki Poco Tipo. Pico Riki Poco Tipo. Okay, so it's clear they all have a shared understanding of, uh, or a shared expectation of me right now that I don't have. <laughs> this is the only place not blocked. Pico Ricopi Picoco Copi. seen an outfit like that before are you a human oh my it's been quite some time since seeing humans came here my name is Fistari. I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine of the North you seem to be having some trouble with their language don't you you could use a jabber nut it will allow you to understand our tongue you should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here Looks like a barrel to me. That was an accident. Oh, Yeti. This must be the jabber nut Fistari told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the jabber nut. Now you can understand the language of the Minish. So you've eaten the jabber nut, and now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing you can see us. That is because we are being I do find it interesting that they're being referred to as human and not like aliens or anything like that. I'm getting set to leave for town and visit some of my Minish friends there. You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right in Hyrule Town. We Minish live in Hyrule Town and other places too, not just in these woods. We probably want to go talk to that king looking dude in a minute. So you've eaten the jabber nut, and now you can understand us? Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the elder can help you. That's what I thought. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please, enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Yeti. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Picori blade. Ah, yes, and you come here now hoping to have the blade reforged? Ah. Uh. Well, 
that's what you're after. You'll need four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me a map. I can mark where these elements can be found. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Fastari's Abbey. Speak with Fastari. He'll show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once when, after you've found the earth element. Cool. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well. This way. Wild beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it's quite dangerous. So I guess we're about to head into our first dungeon already. Oh, we're not big enough for that piece of heart. Shit. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. Uh, I kind of like Ezlo. They, uh... a bit of personality to him. The darkness. For some reason I thought these would be like electricity. Probably because of the like yellow. You got a small key. Used to open locked doors and blocks. You can only use it. You use it only in this dungeon. Ha! There's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to open it. You already found it. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and grab it. expecting that, but I'm here for it. Groupies have been kind of rare. So you can use mushrooms kind of like slingshots. Okay, he's not gonna die. Wow, look at the size of that barrel! Huh? Oh, right, right. How silly of me. It's not big. We're just small. Yeah, it's going to start a fire. Ooh. Last of Us looking motherfucker. Hey. 
What? Hey, be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. Oh, that is cool as fuck. I need fire to open that. That is really neat. So it does seem to lock in certain places. I don't understand why we're not even trying to open that door. We've already freed the barrel. We'll come back to this room shortly, I think. We don't have a key. Oh, we need to be able to get out on... ...this side. So. Okay, so we can slingshot over the water. Some blocks we can push, some we can't. Mm. Bro, they just hide pieces of heart in dungeons like that? Alright. So I think I like bypass pretty sure I bypassed a big chest. I do love a big chest. We got the dungeon map. What are these enemies? So far we've had what? Octorok, Deku Scrubs. What we need now is something to hold down this switch. down a uh... something is supposed to spawn here because they usually highlight like hey something will spawn here If you have any hopes of reforging the sacred blade, do as the elder says. Go find the earth element. Okay, that was so not helpful.
figured I'd try my luck. I think we might need whatever the dungeon item is for that. Ah, yes, that's a bunch of nothing. Noted. We didn't like skip any rooms, did we? Also, it seems like this game doesn't follow the rule from Zelda Dungeons where it, uh, Makes it so these pots don't drop anything. Okay, I don't think. There is an upper floor to, to this room. That's interesting. We've already been through most of the dungeon. Those guys just kind of mind their own business. I'm not surprised or really disappointed. This is one of those things that's like, well, I should probably check that. Okay, it's kind of pushing us in this direction, to be honest. Like, I can tell there's a drag mark here. And you're supposed to drag something from... Oh, okay. The problem is I was picking it up. No, I never claim to be smart. Hey! Once you take hold of something... That was kind of pointless, because we've already had to do that. Oh. I think that is teaching you how to pull things. So what we'll do is we'll do that. And then...
Okay, I retract my statement. Because it's teaching you specifically how to pull. So we can get back across before we do. Yeah, I actually could have used that. Let's see what all's on this floor before we go down. Damn, they're like, yo, pieces of heart, huh? Uh, I think I know where that's gonna come out at. That's a soft, uh barrier for do you have the mid dungeon item but you probably get down here now there's a puzzler I suspect there's not much more we can do here right now. Let's press on. Perhaps we can work this from another angle later on. Maybe we'll drop down. It did save me getting that treasure chest uh, unlocked, so that's nice. Faith there. Ooh, we got five rupees. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I thought that was a chocobo with a headband. This is usually a work point. Oh, no. Item drop. War point's gonna be the, the mini boss.
Yeah, one thing I really enjoy already is that pots are not single use. Because, like, it seemed like whenever I would get an item out of a pot in the Nintendo produced games, they no longer would have items in them. That's kind of nice to know that I can slash as fast as I want to. We got the Gus Jar. That turbo hyper suck. Okay. No, we can grab multiple. Wow. I'm glad there's no magic meter tied to that. You can just fire that thing off as much as you want. Okay, the ones on the walls were just decorative. Ten mysterious shells. I'm not sure what they're for, but let's just hold on to them for now. That's accurate. That's the thing that I was needing. Turbo hyper suck. You know we're going to be checking all these, like, meticulously, right? It just makes sense. 
Turbo Hyper Suck. Okay, so enemies are going to come back, but that's fine. Okay, so there's no impact noted. So you can remotely pull mushrooms. It's probably okay. That's neat. Now what? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going much farther. The only reason this made sense for me to try is because I noticed the uh, knockback. Which means it, it has some momentum. Damn it, turn. Careful going hyperspeed like that, though. There's a bit of an animation lock with that.
That was unnecessarily close. He's, there's a little bit of an animation lock when you're swapping directions. my dumbass fault. Now, I desire to head back to the beginning. Because there's a warp there, and we can get a warp in the mini boss room, but that warp is probably going to take me to, uh, And we can get into the side doors now. Which I actually forgot about these entirely. Money dollars. Super suck our way out of this one. Hey, there's the boss room though. Okay, you can't just shoot it, you have to actually pull it off. I figured that would have been fire. Just do the same thing down here. Oh, but don't get into the. Uh... Yeah, we don't have the boss key yet, but we know how to get to the boss room now, which is good. That is good. That's why those mushrooms pull way further than they need to, because of that pull mechanic. That's good to know. Now, was there a lock? I'm sure there's a locked door I'm forgetting somewhere. Oh, there's a treasure chest in this upcoming room that I don't have. Oh, hey, yeah, this is totally a thing I can work on. Hi there! Yeah, actually, I'm having a really good time. This is my first time playing. Nice to meet you. I've been playing through the Zelda games in their uh, 
mostly in their release order, so I'm on Minish Cap. I did skip uh, Oracle Seasons and Oracle Ages just because they're not on Switch yet, but I've played everything else up to, well, up to this one. So Wind Waker was the last one we did, which was also really good. Yeah, it's, you know, it's interesting seeing that Capcom developed this one, right? Like, they definitely tried some new things, and I think they're really neat. Yes, even Zelda 2. In fact, I, I went through that one twice. One time abusing save states, and the other time not abusing save states. Because I didn't, I didn't really like how, how I felt after I cleared it, using a whole bunch of save states. Uh, so I, I actually learned how to play that game with no save states. I only did save states to save when I was done at the end of the night, and I only reloaded it to start the next day. And you know, that game is really hard. I won't downplay its difficulty, but it's, it's more fair than... I would I realized initially. Uh, I need the boss key. It's hard. I don't I don't blame you one bit. Don't don't hold that against yourself. It I didn't think I could do it. <laughs> I had to watch um there's a YouTube channel. It's called like You Can Beat Video Games and they did a like breakdown of Zelda 2. And I, it's a lot of practice and a little bit of luck. <laughs> it's so tough. Uh, tougher than it needed to be. Let's see. That's down there. That's probably where our boss key's at. That is... How did I get down there last time? Yeah. Uh, that being said, I actually enjoyed it more in Zelda 1. Even though Zelda 1's considerably easier. Uh, granted, I am using like guides and stuff when I get stuck. Because I don't want to be stuck for like days trying to figure something out. Right? But, um. Let's try it. But like Zelda 2 does a slightly better job of conveying what it wants you to do than the first one. The first one's like, here's a sword, come back. Enjoy the adventure. Whereas Zelda 2, you can at least like talk to villagers and get some somewhat meaningful hints that we've been through here. Yeah, I think this is the way. It was funny, at the end of my Zelda 2 run where I didn't use save states, I, uh... I beat the, like, Phoenix thing, right? Oh, right, that's how we got there. I remember now. So, like, we beat the, like, phoenix-looking thing. Yeah, I mean, once you got your levels, you were good. But yeah, resetting to the beginning with the three lives was rough. The important thing for me was rationing those extra lives, because there's only... There's only like six available in the whole game. Uh, I rationed those, I believe, until either when I got to Death Mountain or through Death Mountain. Wait, is it Death Mountain I'm thinking of? No, we're about to miss this treasure chest, I think. No, we're not. There's a locked door over here. Now I remember. But yeah, saving those lives till towards the end, like not picking up any of the extra links and then 
just cashing in on them towards the end. But yeah, it definitely, like, the resets are not friendly. For sure. Ah, oh, beans. <laughs> Whoops. It's been a really fun journey. I've always liked Zelda games, but I actually... Before doing the series run through, I'd only ever beat Link's Awakening and Twilight Princess. Uh, so I've been working to correct that, and it's been pretty fun. Hey, there's our big key. And another teleport? Oh, that's cool. So. Normally, in the games up to this point, you would get like one teleport, and that would be it. But this one, you actually get two. Uh, wait a minute. We already know that it's the other door. Yeah, it was hard. I don't recommend it. Uh, but you know what? I'm happy I did it. That being said, I'm never doing it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. We're as prepared as we're gonna get. Let's do it. That's really cool. Oh, is that the boss? <laughs> I love how they're like, okay, we'll make a really like simple enemy that you could easily kill. Oh, wow. <laughs> no way! Okay, I see. I know what to do. That pleases me. Oh, this is, that was our strike moment. Oh, he's T. Yep. I understand now. I applaud the uh, the ingenuity of. Taking what would be a normal enemy and making them the boss because you're super tiny. <laughs> oh, he's super gonna come over. Go ahead, fall. Oh, we might be missing something there. Oh no, he's changed up his attack pattern. So far, my only complaint is that Link is a little slow on input in terms of like changing direction. It's not a major complaint at all, though. It's something I've noticed in situations where I need to move quickly. That was fun.
Yeah, it could be because I'm using the analog stick on the switch. Yeah, it might be a switch thing. Earth is the source of all living things. The earth element is the embodiment of that power. Oh, no! Hold up. Ah, we've got the Earth Element. You must go tell the Elder at once. No, we're going back and getting that. Or... Or we can be super lazy. Hold up. I normally would not abuse this so soon. Yeah, it does. I just use the, the analog stick for comfort. There, just to save us the trip back. Yeah, the D-pad actually does respond a bit faster than the... Yep, that's an analog stick problem, not even a switch problem. Good to know. I have set out a personal challenge for myself uh, through these games, which is to uh, get all the heart containers. And I know I'm going to have a very rough time with this one, apparently, because of one single piece of heart. Uh, so I actually do plan on abusing save states and stuff to make that more bearable. But so far, I've done it on every Zelda game I've played. I have gotten to maximum life whenever... Oh uh, yeah, I mean, every Zelda game you can increase your life. I have gotten to maximum life on every one so far. It's been a, a soft challenge for myself. So, you found the Earth Element. You're blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Crenel. Maybe it's Crenel? I think it's Crenel. There you'll find a man named Malari. Among all the Minish, there's no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I'm certain he'll reforge your broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You're brave, but there are many evils now in this world. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder, we are in your debt. We shall head from Mount Crenel at once. Yeah, I think I'm going to say Crenel. It could be Crenel. I don't know. Words are hard. Yeah. Yeah, the, um... So that actually answers a question I had. Even after you clear the story, you're able to still play, right? Like it doesn't game over and then like you're done indefinitely. You can explore and stuff. Because if so, that's good. Really good to know, actually. Green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir, would you by chance be Yeti, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I've heard so many tales about you. I am Bellari, research of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. We got a bomb bag. I'm glad I had the intuition to come in here and check. And it has ten bombs in it. Now you can blow up lots of stuff. Oh, okay. Well, um, that's good to know so that way I don't tear my, ha my hair out trying to get all the heart pieces before the final boss. That makes me feel a lot more comfy on, on time. Thank you. By the way, for these Zelda games, I, I forgot to do the tag this time around, but, like, I don't necessarily mind backseating on these. Uh, 
I know the rules for chat say no backseating. The Zelda games are an exception to that. I normally tag it, but I wanted to take a fun jab at Tears of the Kingdom since that's the Zelda game that everybody is probably playing right now. Holder of the Sacred Powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hmm? Whoa, it blew up. Hey kid, look at where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, this must be... Well, I have the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. That would be too easy. Well, that's good to know, I guess. But, uh, there's that symbol there. We haven't saved at all. <laughs> we should probably do that, huh? Oh, really? Yeah, something I do, and I'll probably... I'm, a, I'm kind of experimenting with how I want to like do things because what I do as part of the series is I will do streams that are just dedicated to being collectathons where I focus just on like collecting things I missed so that's where I use a guide like pretty considerably and and work my way through So I'm thinking that's probably what I'll do for like an hour at the end of each session for this one, is do collect-a-thon. That way, when I miss things, I can kind of, you know, make every session have some story in it. I really want to try to get that heart piece, so... When I first saw this little, little path here, I thought that was neat. Ah. Good to know. Really? Okay, now that's getting silly. <laughs> cool. I just didn't come up here enough. Oh man, it's the boss of the first dungeon. But I have to fight multiple. <laughs> We've almost unlocked our fifth part.
you want that sword you forged, you should see Malari. He and his apprentices are skilled in the arts of metalworking. That's why they live in the mountains. They can be close to the ore. Cool. It feels just a little faster to roll everywhere. Curiosity is going to get the better of me. I do wish the shrinking animation was a little truncated. After your first time seeing it, of course. But that's, like, really minor. Hey, look at this Kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? You can skip it? I didn't know that. <laughs> it didn't even dry. What? You don't know what a kinstone piece is? Well, tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Alright, so you're the kinstone person. I'll learn what that is later. Hold on, now I have to test it. Oh, you most certainly can. Alright, <laughs> thank you for that. I'm too used to holding A to, like, grab stuff. Okay, so no putting it over the head, at least not with A. Nothing else will show up. When I first saw these guys come out, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that caught me off guard seeing five of them come out. Come one, come all. See how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right. Maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. We got a kinstone bag. Now carry some pieces with you. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones. Yes, yes, that's it. Press L and you can see the kinstone screen. 
The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. I like these called Hurdy Gurdy Man. The Hurdy Gurdy is a really cool instrument. Oh. So you get really rewarded for talking to people then. That's down by Link's house. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya. We'll head down there in a minute. Now that was a real centennial celebration. That festival was the best ever. Most NPCs confuse with you a few more than once and some only pop up after story beats. Okay, good to know. Thank you. This town is quiet enough, but past the gates are monsters everywhere. You should visit Stockwell's shop and get outfitted before you go out there. Are you Stockwell? Ah, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. Please feel free to browse. What is this? Only 80 rupees for a wallet. Ignore the king's ransom in rupees. Will you buy it? I'll have it, but I want it. Okay. So I have a couple goals in mind already. Hey, what do you want? My sister's not here. She's at school. Okay. <laughs> it looked big enough I had to try climbing in. I'm surprised it worked. That's probably some there's probably something more to that later. Oh, hello. My brother's at school. Mmm, big pot. <laughs> That's a weird it's like... Oh, is it a... Oh, did she have a fuse bubble? Oh, she sure did. I had to wait. Hey, you don't have any kinstone pieces. How can you fuse kinstones if you don't have any kinstone pieces? Buggity buggity boo. Did I scare you? That was boogity buggity boo. <laughs> I said buggity. Hey, you don't have any kinstone pieces. Oh no, this is horrible. My cuckoos have gotten out. Can you catch them for me? Try to catch two of them within 25 seconds, please. You can't go into buildings or leave town. up that's it thanks here's your reward here we got some shells you got 60 rupees doesn't it feel good to help others well that was a little bit of a waste only a little but we are super getting this wallet Got a big wallet. Now we can carry more rupees. Much obliged, my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop by again. Yeah, I can see now that like I understand the minish mechanic a little bit. I can see all sorts of little stuff that's like meant for being minish sized. The stall is kind of dirty. I guess that guy won't be setting up here today. Hey, hey, fresh fruit. Get your fresh fruit here. I 
Howdy, howdy. Come get your fresh veggies grown by Eeny and Meeny. They're fresher than fresh, folks, and they're good for you, too. I just love shopping. Oh, and I mustn't forget to buy some of that surprise-filled bread from PETA. Yo, there's a bread store? I'm in love. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Only someone would blow it away. Mmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? <laughs> I love since Enzo is kind of a, a bird. <laughs> uh, they're attracted to bread. make deliciousness. I do love some bread. Yes, I do. I shall take the hint in stride. Nothing but fruits and veggies. What should I cook tonight? This is the, the nightmare. The door is shut. We can't open it from the side. Hmm? That's unfortunate. They're not open yet. Ah, well, we'll just have to come back later, won't we? I'm going to the boot store. a shrink spot. What the? Oh, welcome. Welcome to Rem Shoe Shop. Like me, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right job. That's right, even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. Oh, this is neat. Oh, but we can't do anything with it right now, I guess. Okay. That's still really neat that you can climb up on the desk like that. But then I assume this is raised, so we can't climb over it. So I tried to walk through it and I was like, mm -hmm. You. I saw a 20 minute YouTube video about you. I'll get you one day. <laughs> it was funny too, because like I didn't really even realize it was going to be one from this game. That's a finish thing. Uh, when I watched it, I was at my girlfriend's and I was going to sleep for the night. So I was like, I'll just put on a YouTube video to sleep too. And they're like, this is the hardest container to get in all Zelda. Under construction, all digging strictly prohibited. I really want to play a game, but this place isn't open yet. I guess I just got here too early. Yeah, oh, that sword fighting tournament was so exciting. Oh, if only my husband were talented enough to compete. Why are you going to talk bad about your husband like it? Did you see the tournament? It was incredible. I was out of my seat and cheering before I even knew it. Hmm? That's unfortunate. They're not open yet. 
Ah, oh, well, we'll just have to come back later, won't we? Oh no, this horrible. That same situation happened. That's it. Thanks, here's your reward. You got 70 rupees that time. Okay. I'll hold on to that because that seems repeatable to some degree. Oops. Yeah, see, like, that's a minish thing up there. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman, all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Sure. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First. Second. Third. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Ah, you're very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. What in the fuck, Legolas? I call this the Swift Blade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this. Possession! Whew. Now, you must try it yourself. That's kind of creepy. Yes, fine work. You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status screen. techniques I can teach you with your current sword. Come again when you have a new sword in hand. Yeah. When we check out this, uh, this Kinblade secret that we found, or Kinstone, rather, uh, we'll probably take our first break of the stream. Too much to learn the layout. Oh. Hey, there's our fifth uh, art. Very nice. Alright, I'm gonna take a couple minutes, I'll be right back.
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So I have a problem. A big one. Everything I just did since the break has not recorded. <laughs> Oh no! That's not gonna. That's not gonna work. <laughs> um. Okay. Well. Shit. <laughs> we took that break. Oh gosh. We hadn't even started the mountain yet. We've done the entire second dungeon and it's not recorded. I have two hours of footage and I've been live for almost four hours. Uh, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a session 1.5 where I get to this exact point that I showcase everything along the way so it's gonna be a collect-a-thon but it's also gonna show the dungeon that we just did because like we got the cane we got the upgrade Let's see we have the stuff but yeah i gotta do it all again for the recording ah beans yeah i'm gonna do it tomorrow uh. <laughs> so no collectathon. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the stream in that case, and I will work on this offline tomorrow. Get us caught back to this point. Uh, session two will pick up from this file, but we will do the collectathon bits during the 1.5. So yeah, y'all. Uh, wow, that sucks. Be safe, be kind, I will catch you all later.